What's going on, everybody? This is Super Robot, and today we're going to talk about these uh, real pictures of the Legacy United Voyager Origin Wheeljack. Um, this is the uh, DCPI number for your target heads, um, and you can go inside and get it. Um, I still like the figure, don't get me wrong, but this just goes to show you why some things just can't really translate well unless you really go into superior engineering. And I know people say, well, third party can do it. They probably can, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg and it's going to be two inches tall. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> they did the best that they could do. I still like it, but just don't look at them from the side because you're going to get your feelings hurt. And y'all be complaining about backpacks. This makes the current RC, the SS86 RC, have a lovely backpack compared to this. But we're going to show that all off in this short little video here. So from the uh, TFW 2005 board lander, Chicago lander, we have first the images of the wheel origin real jack. And of course, to get him into this lovely Cybertronian SUV like figure, there's a lot of panels and things that fold very similar to the jazz. But the jazz actually, to me, is probably made out like a fat rat because he could actually more or less kind of do an RC. The bone bee had to be remolded, but you get what I'm saying. And then to turn the bone bee and get him into the uh, uh, SUV thing, you got to kind of fold him up just a little bit. I mean, yeah, but you can see he does fold in there. And I mean, it looks okay, but it just, it's not something you could, you could do like you thought you could, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, when you put the blast shield on, they put a lot into this and, you know, they got the little spinning things in the front. Mind if I cut in? I mean, they did a lot and I'm not mad at all. This is not a diss, but I'm just trying to explain to people why sometimes you got to just lay off of everything having to be, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot, man, to do this stuff, you know, but here he is from the front. And you know, he looks good. He looks like Wheeljack from the front. Oh boy, and he gets, ooh, <laughs> who did this? I mean, dude, this is, it's bad, man. It's bad. Like, it's bad. <laughs> but, it, it, you know, it just goes to show you why sometimes you gotta just leave it up to imagination like us 80 kids you know the 80s kids we had to imagine everything and i mean even from the back i mean it's kind of like why am i putting the blast shield on the back of him? it just doesn't make sense so overall still a great figure still something from our childhood but we really now get to see kind of like the truth behind it and you know like i said to achieve this it would take a lot and you know it's just something to remind yourselves to lay off of being so hard on everybody if third party wants to do it let them go ahead they have their own way to do r d for their figures but hasbro designers unfortunately are beholden to their executives their boss and the stockholders so at the end of the day don't blame them i'm sure they're uh, they had some very neat concepts but has to go into production and there's costs. It is what it is. So what are your thoughts? Leave it down in the comments below. I think most people still going to get this, but we just had to point this out. So please like, subscribe, and share as always. This is Super Robot Ed, bringing you more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.